Hey everyone, Jeremy Lorenzo here with Heli Direct. Today I wanted to take a quick second and talk about the Goose Guy RS7 inner swash conversion. Now, this is a conversation that's been going around for quite a bit. And today I just want to give you guys my personal opinions on it and what, you know, to show. So on my right hand side here, I have a fully original RS7. This RS7 when you build your kit, this is exactly how it would look similar as far as frame and everything goes. <laughs> uh, your equipment, you choose however you would like, but this is a fully original. This has the original inner swash that we would be talking about today. As you guys can see, it's a little angled down towards the ball, right down there, if you guys can see that. And so this RS7 is completely original. This is how you get yours out of the box. I'm running mine with the Zor 700s, which match perfectly with the model. Torque servos, CGY 760R, which I absolutely adore. X Nova Motor 4535 520 XTS X Nova Motor. And the one that I wanna talk about is this one right over here also. This is, of course, a Goose Guy R7 almost identical to the all original one i have a cgy the same bls torque servos the only two things that change on my, this particular model is i'm running a 4525 550 kv motor ht edition with the hobby wing 180 which works absolutely amazing and i i don't know if i mentioned it a cgy 760r and so this one on my left hand side, this model in particular has the one to one swash conversion kit. Now, as you guys can see right here, the actual links are completely parallel. Let's show right here one more time. If you wanna see that, I hope you guys can see how they're a little angled in compared to this one right over here as it is straight up and down. As you guys can see the links, the actual swash conversion, how it goes outwards. Sorry about the canopy. But if you guys can see that, it goes in. You see how it, it sticks out, that actual link. Um, so the reason I wanted to show you guys this is because I get a lot of, I've talked about it with a lot of friends throughout the community and everything about if you need to change your actual swash. And I wanna give you guys my honest, honest truth. You really don't need to. If this is 100% optional. It's not like it's something, oh, you know, it just came out. I have to install it for it to fly better. These machines fly so good out of the box. I really, really prefer flying this one so much. I smack this thing so much. You guys can see on other videos that I posted in the past. I've smacked this one really, really hard. And this one is fully, fully original. Fully, fully original. I built it out of the box, threw my system in there, and went to fly this one has the actual boom reinforcements which i will post a picture about um in this video i have the one-to-one -one swash and that's you know just the little things the little cosmetics the thing about the one-to-one -one, i have right here something that i wanted to show you guys i made a rookie 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 mistake so i added this swash plate in from being completely original, I put the one-to-one -one conversion in it. And so the thing I wanted to talk to you guys also is when you add the one-to-one -one swash, it adds degrees and everything to your model. It changes the swash, uh, the, the numbers and everything a lot. And so if you don't go back and change your, you know, your numbers and everything around, this is what can happen to you guys. A boom strike. That's what happened to me. It was a rookie mistake. I take credit for it 1000% it was me um i added this and it had a lot more degrees than i thought and i did a rotation and it smacked the boom so just take note when you do add yours make sure you put your machine on the, the bench check it out check your numbers make sure it's all nine on futaba it works perfect with nine degrees side click and just make sure that your machine is ready to go when you add your nine uh the one-to-one -one. And so, yeah, everybody, that's what I wanted to talk to you guys the most about was the one-to-one -one swash. I get this question and I've talked to a lot of people about it, if it's necessary, if it makes a big difference, if it makes if it makes a machine fly so much better, it's really personal preference. If what you're used to flying with a one-to-one, -one, like let's say like an XL Power that has the one-to-one, -one, um, if you're used to flying machines like that, I would recommend putting the one-to-one. -one. 
But if you're just a, you know, a random normal person that just wants to fly their machine out of the box, don't even work on it, you can 1000% smack this machine dead stock out of the box, no touching it at all. And yeah, it's not necessary in my opinion. Once again, everybody's entitled to opinions. This is my opinion. I don't think that it really needs it. But if you want to add it, you do feel a couple different things in the side click. And yeah, that is what I wanted to talk to you guys about today. Thank you everyone for sitting around and watching. My name is Jeremy Lorenzo from Heli Direct. Peace out.